おはようございます<笑> Are you excited? She just woke up from a quick nap We're at the co-op This is a natural health food store Basically it's the type of grocery store that just supports local farmers has a lot of healthy foods Their whole produce department is certified organic Um, I've talked about this before. I look for organic. It's not absolutely necessary, but this place, they're pretty extreme. So, about to show you everything that we buy, especially when we're feeling under the weather. So, I'm gonna get things for green juice, just gonna get some wholesome ingredients that we normally stock up on when we're here, and uh, just give you a little tour. You ready to get a snack, too? There's a lot of healthy snacks for kids here. Oh, and they have this cool thing called the Banana Club where they get free fruit. Got my grocery bag. Got my uh, assistant too. Come on, let's go. You want to sit in the cart? No. No? Okay, you want to walk, huh? <laughs> Just looking for where to push. Okay, there you go. Good job. Just be careful. <laughs> this is literally the whole store. You can see it all in this perspective. So as I mentioned, everything in the produce section has to be certified organic and they get audited, I believe, a couple times a year randomly. One of the number one things we buy here, Japanese sweet potatoes. Yes, they have Japanese sweet potatoes all the time. Oh, these say garnet sweet potatoes? I think they got them in the wrong section. Okay, I was stand corrected. This is the Japanese sweet potatoes. Those are garnets, they look so similar. Okay, this is our favorite right here. In my opinion, better flavor, a little more subtle, still sweet, and uh, yeah, definitely try these out right here. Mm -hmm. It's cool, they hang up all their bananas up here so that they don't get bruised. And it's just really good use of space, because as I mentioned, this is a really tiny grocery store. Banana clump, there you go, two hands. Here, let me hold this sticker for you. I'll give it to you afterwards, okay? Okay, that's gonna make it a lot easier. Moving on. Most people would say lumpia is not healthy. I just don't have that same kind of philosophy on looking at foods as like unhealthy and some healthy. I think all of them are part of a healthy, balanced diet in moderation. So we're gonna also do lumpia today. All right, first thing, green onion bunches. Oh, that's a must. Always put carrots. Oh wait, do we? Oh yeah, we do put carrots in there. Arugula, because I do plan on making some pizza when we put the arugula on top of the pepperoni. You're so good. I'm gonna get these. They always have amazing citrus fruits here at the co-op. These are Satsumas. It seems like an okay price. Oh yeah. We would love these. Of course, Washington is known for the apples. They always have a lot of selection here. Washington pears, underrated. So we're gonna get those. So one thing that's unique about this place, raw milk. I know not, not everybody's a fan of raw milk, but a lot of research has been done that it's the most healthiest version. But uh, some people think that it's not good for you because you could get sick. Drink it at your own risk. I don't drink it that often just because, you know, we buy our milk from Costco. But uh, if I ever need to get my health back on track, raw milk right here. This girl was gnawing on the peel, so I had to peel it back for her. There you go. You liking that banana? Mm-hmm. Aslan Brewing. This is from Bellingham, Washington. Organic beer. I just love it. This is our classic light lager. So it's like a Budweiser or like a light beer, but it's from a craft brewery. So Aslan Brewing, if you ever get to go to Bellingham, Washington, go to their brewery. It's awesome. This co-op doesn't really have a legit meat section or, you know, like, normal meat counter. They just have this one cooler. Templars. For Lumpia, I insist Judy use this brand. So we're gonna get two pounds of it because that's about how much we're gonna need for the Lumpia meat. You want string cheese? We'll do this for a snack when we go, okay? We'll put it here, though. I think they won't mind if I uh, open it early for you. 
Look how happy you are. Were you just hungry? She was screaming in the car. There. Is that good? All right, so one thing that the co-op is really good for, vegans. This whole thing is vegan options. They have vegan options everywhere, but let me just show you. Vegan mozzarella made out of cashew milk. Uh, vegan pepperoni. I didn't even know they had that. Uh, all kinds of vegan butters. But yeah, if you're a vegan, you probably already know about this. And this is one reason they call these health food stores because there's a lot of options for people on those healthy diets. Okay, this is something I almost never see here. Duck fat and pork fat. So they also have this beef tallow. We found that this kind of has a, almost like a grassy taste to it. So I might skip on that. But these fats, this is what we use to deep fry. Obviously you see how expensive these are, but so worth it. Way more healthy for you. And the girls agree. Oh yeah, see, she's putting her uh, um, stamp of approval on it. This is their whole cereal department. And you don't see Kellogg's, Frosted Flakes, Fruit Loops. They have all the hippie, healthy versions of it. I think you could probably find um, like this brand in a lot of places. But this is from the Northwest, Cascadian Farm. I believe they sell this in uh, Whole Foods, but this is our go-to brand and what we buy when we're here. They still have the knockoffs. So cinnamon crunch, I think this is like cinnamon toast crunch. Fruitful O's, I think you can guess what that's a copycat of. The girls love this brand right here. Enviro Kids, Panda Puffs, Koala Crisp. Same thing with the chips aisle. None of the really well-known brands. You're not gonna find Flamin' Hot Cheetos here, but they got Kettle, which is a pretty big brand, but I believe it's local. Let me see where it's from. Where are you from? Oh, yeah, Oregon. So Kettle is from Oregon. The big thing about the co-op, they like to support small businesses. So even if you're not in Washington, if they have an option of supporting a small business versus a big brand, they almost always will, which is really cool because it's hard out there for a small business, especially in the food industry, because a normal grocery store, it's all really small margin, so you gotta have lower prices. And some of these uh, smaller businesses, they can't afford that, so. I always get my pizza flour here. King Arthur Double O. I'll go ahead and get two of these because I'm gonna get back on my pizza game here soon. You want pizza later? Hmm? So even though it's not the season, they always have a good selection of tomatoes. This is the one I always try to get right here. Heirloom medley. Oh yeah, like uh, Trader Joe's, smaller carts, but we really filled this one up today. Come on, Bella, let's go. All right, so that was my trip to the co-op. I know I keep saying it about the Wajimaya and Trader Joe's and all these different grocery stores, but this place really, if it was closer to my house, it would be my favorite. I love how small of a grocery store it is, how focused they are on small farmers and small purveyors or suppliers of food. I've known some of these employees for 10 years. They've seen all of our girls grow up. So yeah, support your co-op if you've got one nearby. It's not a normal stop for us anymore. It used to be once a week, but now it's maybe once a month. Total bill today, $229, but we stocked up. I told you that that duck fat, pretty expensive. Bought about six bottles of that, but that'll last us for a while. Bought that pizza flour, that was, uh, I think, $11 each bag, but that's some special flour. I bought a few other things, including meat, that always kind of gets costly. Hey, oh, ah, ah. All right, you guys, hopefully you've been loving these uh, shop with Hi. me, grocery store visits. Hi. Let me know what type of content you want to see on this channel because Please. I'm sure some of you have noticed Please. I've been vlogging daily. I've been re-inspired to share my love for food. I wanted Hi. to know 
what it is that you're interested in. Um, it's been a few years since I uploaded regularly on this channel and obviously things have changed. I have five girls. I'm very busy. Uh, me and Judy have been vlogging now for over 10 years. So yeah, just want to share a different stage in my life. Curious what it is that has been intriguing you, interested you, and what topics you want me to cover while I go shopping or cooking. Can you say bye-bye?